Hey everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you a simple way how we can add pricing table in uh, Google Sites. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just scroll down below to the description and click on the link. When you will have it, you will get on a site called LSite. LSite is an amazing company with a lot of widgets and one of the widgets they make is a pricing table. So what you want to do is click sign up for free. Now we want to sign with a Gmail, Facebook or normal mail. It's up to you. And when you got it, click login. Right here you will be in applications and you want to write in search pricing, right? And you're going to see pricing table. Let's create a widget. Now you want to have like pricing columns, comparison table or pricing grid is like up to you. Now when I have a pricing grid here, I will continue with the template. Now what you can do is just like having a grid here and changing the content. It's like really up to how we edit it. You have like, you can also add more pricing tables. This is good if you have like some affiliate links. I got a basic here and I can change the title. I can change the features, changing the price. Also the button and bill monthly. And then you can like button link if you want to add it like as Amazon or somewhere. Then you can like picture, you can change it. You can literally change everything. And then you can like appearance, show picture, titles, how the button looks like, you know. Just everything here. So yeah, when we got it, we can go simply and click save. You can also change the main skin color like to, I don't know, let's go red. Let's click save. And right after you do it, you need to choose a plan. If you're starting out with your website, go with the light version. But if you're going to have 5,000, 50 or up to 5 million views, go with the basic pro or enterprise. Let's copy the code here. And now what I will do, I will just simply click here on insert amped, amped code here and click next and insert. And voila, here we have it. But what we need to do is just simply make it much, much larger. Like this. And move it to the middle, right? So this is pretty much how we do it. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, Ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. And this is how we can add pricing table in Google Sites. Have a great day and goodbye.